Greetings from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Friday, December 3, 2021. Here's an update with Joe working on the stem of our 1948 18-foot Century Sea Maid Songbird. Joe, why don't you uh, Yeah, um, right pick now, um, I just got all the chime frames on there and all glued up with 5200, getting them all finished up. I'll be sanding those back in. But to do that, I have got to get the new stem and the knee and the keel to meet all the way where they need to meet for the planks to sit in this channel, as well as the plywood. So it's taking a little bit off each side of this to, and having the same contour all the way through it where my stem meets my keel. So that way all my planks will have room where they won't be butting into the stem, but underneath. So that way it's all sealed. It looks like we've used up a little FAS grade white oak, Joe. Yes, we did. All the frames um, from the third one back are completely replaced. The other ones, they're just we, there's nothing we could do to save them. These ones aren't, aren't oil soaked, so I'm, they're actually still pretty solid. So I'll have to toothpick these. But everything else from right to this point back is all brand new. Once I get the the new keel and stem put in, I'll be going through and putting level lines across to make sure every landing meets at the same place. So that way we're you know we're not having our boat not look very fair. So as you can see, from the water line down, she's going to all be new and soon we'll be able to put the, uh, install the battens. But before we do that, believe it or not, we have to take this all apart, seal it with three coats of clear penetrating epoxy sealer, put it all back together, install the battens. Uh, we will paint all of this with the bilge paint while the frames are apart so that we don't have to spend ungodly numbers of hours trying to paint this in place. Uh, I've had a whole series of questions on 5200 bottoms, so let me sort of summarize here. This is a century, which means it was a single uh, plank bottom. With the 5200 bottom, uh, we have to first install the plywood inner skin, and then she will have all new planks. We use Maranti Marine plywood, and in this case, four millimeter thick, for our inner skin. And then the bottom planking is also Maranti mahogany planks, which we will plane down so that the planks land on their landings and give us a little bit of proud edge to the uh, bottom of the boat. The chines need to be just a little tiny bit proud. Uh, once we have everything paint sealed and painted, uh, we will reassemble all of this for the final time. You see that we are using only silicon bronze carriage bolts. Never, ever, ever, never, ever, ever, ever use stainless steel below the waterline. As Don Dannenberg taught us with the extensive experimentation he's done, stainless steel in an anaerobic environment, which this will be once we're finished, rots very, very quickly. You never want to use it. So Joe and Rick will continue working. And by this time next week, we may do an update with an inner skin in place. So that's our update on December 3, 2021 for our 1948 18 foot Century Sea Maid 
with her brand new bottom framing progressing nicely. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.